Hi, I'm playing Clans of Caledonia on Board Game Arena. Like a Euro game where you're Scottish farmers or something. Um, this is the bidding phase for these three clans. I th these are all pretty good. I don't know which is better. I think Robertson is supposed to be the best, and then followed by maybe Campbell and then Buchanan. Uh, I guess I'll bid a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go that high in the bidding, though, because I'm fairly indifferent between these. Probably go to four. Hmm... I have the most familiarity with Robertson and Buchanan. I haven't played Campbell before. Uh, I think I'm going to decline. Campbell, like, um, factories for processed goods are cheaper. Robertson, you pay three less whenever you uh, place a unit in a river delta. And then Buchanan, you a second export box. So, like, late game, you can get two contracts at once and it only costs you 15 total. And then in round one, you can get five two times. I think most of my wins in this game have been with Buchanan, but I don't know if that's because Buchanan's really good or just because of, like, coincidence. I'm definitely not going to go too high on this. Hmm. I think I'm going to decline here. Like, I assume they take Campbell and I get Buchanan, and I'm pretty ha fine with that. I think, what, from what I've seen, high-level players like value Robertson really highly, but... I don't... I mean, taking a 16-point hit is really massive. Yeah, I did get Buchanan. Like, if I went to 5 there, uh, and then they decline, then I'm kind of tempted to take Buchanan there anyway, but in that case, I'm minus 5, whereas in, if, like, since I decline, they're minus 4. So, if I want Buchanan anyway, it was safer to do what I did, since I thought they wanted Campbell anyway. So, let's see. The... Um, the get two processed, one for two processed goods, and one for three basic goods are the best uh, ports here for starting, like for starting off at least. So, like one here and then plan to expand there and then I guess one at that mountain probably my plan here I mean ideally I get this mountain as well and then I can like travel down this water mass to get to these pretty good one costers and get to the export box port at some point yeah i think i'll go with this one and this one
As far as the contracts, I think this contract is the best early on, so I assume one of them takes it. And then besides that, uh, like, this one's fine. And the six wool is okay too, I think. Yeah, they do take that contract. Uh, there's a worker score bonus and around bonus thing. So definitely want to get all eight workers down. And notably, there's no, um, like, border spaces scoring. I think here I'm probably, I mean, I assume Red takes a contract, and then I don't, I'm not really in any rush to get a contract of my own at that point, because their boxes are both full. Yeah, so I think I just get shipping level 1 for a river crossing, and that threatens to... Uh, put a put a dude there. And then once I get to level two, I can expand here and here. I guess black is going for shipping level 3 so they can expand here and then be in range of the export box bonus. It's my assumption. I'm hoping... Okay, cool. Red just got shipping levels. So that means I can... Get in there, I th think... I guess I have a, a grain, I started with a grain, so I could support one of the bread or distilleries without having to build a field at this point. So I guess I hold off on field and build like a cow, I guess. I, I guess I could also hold off on building cows and just build a cheese thing. Since I started with a milk. And, like, if I get the process, if I, well, so if I get the two process goods, then my two merchants will just be dedicated to selling my two process goods anyway. So, yeah, let's just build a distillery, I guess. Seems reasonable. And now I want to get to shipping level one and build here before Black takes it. And then I'll, uh, then once I build there, I'll be in range of both the bonuses, which is nice. I think I'm only really making use of the process goods bonus, though, this round. Is that I have enough merchants to sell more? Maybe I want to play a, uh, whatever it's called, a miner here, though, because I would like to get these two spaces and then followed by this one to expand out and then eventually connect up with this guy. I think black is not going to prioritize the spot anyway. And worst case, I can just expand here at some point. So yeah, let's just get this one down, I think.
And then at this point, I think I get my two contracts. I get up to 15, and then that'll be enough to play a building there. And then I can activate the bonus and sell, I think, like two whiskey for 11 each. Contracts, I think I want um, I don't really want anything that requires meat this early on in the game. So it's probably like I think this one for sure, and then mm, I don't know between these two. I guess the wool probably is easier to complete. Especially, yeah, I guess the basic good port will also make the wool one easier to complete. So, yeah, let's get... Contract. This one is arguably better. Mm, I guess cotton is going to be, like, I prefer cotton here because there's two other resources, so cotton, like, there'll be a lower amount of it, which means it, like, could be worth more at the end of the game. Also, it has the expansion bonus. Yeah, I think I will actually go with that. And the next turn, get the wool one. And then I can expand. Okay, so Black Maiko here. Uh, I think I have to just get this now, though. Because it's more important to me that I get here. And I can always expand here instead of there, like I said, or just get more shipping level, worst case. They go there, interesting. It's actually kind of annoying. I guess I'm just letting them take this then. I guess so, yeah. Oh, I have to get another shipping level, right? It's like I have to get to this port. This guy might just be locked in, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, I could expand here at some point. Obviously expensive. Yeah, I can now build here.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, like... Like, I could potentially complete both these contracts in next round, I think. But I don't know if it's good. Okay, so now I just want to get two bread, since that's the most valuable good to sell. And sell that. I mean, I think I can just play, like, worker here, worker there. Maybe, actually, maybe I should get a sheep down here. That'll be 10, and then, yeah, just, like, worker there is fine. Let's do that. And I can buy... No, I can't buy bread. I mean, this the fact that this is scoring for stuff on field export tracks this round sort of incentivizes completing these two next round, since it's like going to be six glory on top of yeah, it's going to be six extra glory, basically. If I do it specifically next round. And then obviously that means I get contracts for uh, five cheaper, collectively. I don't know. I guess that is probably worth it then. I'll have uh, bread and cheese and one wool. If I exchange for three wool, then I need to get three wool and one bread. That's kind of a lot. I don't know if that's reasonable. I think I'm fine getting locked in in this corner with these guys. Uh, passing here first, which is nice. I mean, it could be worth it, like, I don't know, I think getting the wool, the extra wool is probably unreasonable, but, like, just buying a bread and completing this contract on its own might just be worth it, because it'll be three extra glory, plus I get a free expand. I don't know. It's probably better to just sell my process goods, though. And I can, I mean, if I want to use the discard, if I want to use the one for three, I can get rid of my wool and get, like, um more grain and milk so I don't have to build the basic resource producers yet. I think I start with selling here. Yeah, let's go with that. I think it's pretty hard to justify completing a contract at this point. Especially as Buchanan. Like, if I'm not doing both, it's kind of a waste.
I guess there's no rush to sell bread now since it's already at rock bottom price. Uh, I want to expand here at some point, so I guess I'll just do that. And that also lets me get uh, uh, whatever it's called, a forest guy there. I guess not. <laughs> uh, I think I'm seeding the uh, most settlements scoring to both of them. Like, I'll just be content with my six points. But I should hopefully be able to get the 12 point on most exports. I think I, yeah, I don't know. I was going to say I probably just don't complete my, like, woodcutter track, but I almost certainly should just complete it because of the deployed worker scoring. The problem is I don't really have that many good forest areas to play in. I guess I probably, like, snake up here and try and get this 2 and 1, like, do the 6, 2 and 1. Building the 6 really hurts, though, and red can, like, take this from me. So it kind of sucks. I don't know. But I guess I still go for it. If that gets blocked, then I probably just take like this five and this one as my last two. They probably block me. I hope they don't. Yeah, they do block me. That's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I think I just take the five and one. I mean, I could take this 4 1 2 1. Go down this path. And make more bread, I think. Yeah, let's go with this. I mean, once again, they can block me, but... And uh, with the one, to th one for three port, I can get my one milk and two green that I need to support the process production. This will get me enough to get this left contract fulfilled. Oh, they didn't block me. Nice. And then, like, I'll just have to buy some wool, I guess, next round. I probably play woodcutter here and then sheep here. And then I, I think at that point I'm out of money this round. 
The problem is, like, I would like to upgrade my miners if possible. I'll be at... So once I sell the bread, I'm at, I have 14, so... I'm either playing the sheep or upgrading my miners. Upgrading miners is worth 8 gold. Which is just better than the sheep. I mean... So, yeah, I guess I'm probably... Upgrading miners... So I'll have one wool. Oh, okay. Well, wool's going to be cheap, potentially. I'm going to have to buy three merchants, so 12, and then I can buy five wool for ideally 15. So I'll have to pay 27, but then I'll be able to complete both contracts and then get two more. The nice thing about accepting that I'm just going to be last on uh, settlements is, like, I, it means I don't really care about my shipping, for example. Like, I probably just stand one the entire game. I'm not going to be getting to the either of these two bonuses, but whatever. I mean, I could maybe get to this one, honestly. Probably not. All right, so let's do this now, I guess. So I need one milk and two grain. And then I'm upgrading miners. It looks like I'm passing before red, which means... Yeah, I mean, even if I wasn't, I guess I'll be able to... I should probably be able to get this mountain, is what I'm trying to say. And then I'll be able to play Woodcutter there and something there for cheap, which is nice. Like, technically, Red can get there if they, like, go here and here quickly. I mean, they would have to do it this round. Okay, they go down there. I was worried they were going to go there. I think I take first pass here. Yeah. I maybe have time to get a merchant that I'm going to need anyway, but I think it looks like Black is just passing here. Because they don't have any merchants to sell and they can't buy a merchant, so I'd rather pass before them. Next round, have to build a field and a cow to support my process production. And then, like I said, ideally I'm getting these two contracts done, getting two more, but probably not doing either of those. Either of the two I get, I'm not doing as well. I'll just leave those for a later round, which is fine. 
And I think I also want to play this woodcutter and upgrade. Hopefully I have enough money for all that. It's very possible I don't. If I don't have enough money, then I guess I'd probably just forgo the wool for now. Because actually completing the wool this next round requires buying three merchants. So it's a lot of additional cost, whereas if I just forgo it, then it makes things easier. Uh, what do I want to do first here? So, I could just complete this contract if I don't think I'm completing both this round, which I'm, I don't, I guess I'm probably not. Because, like, I have to, I have to play a field, which is, puts me down to 44, and then I'm not selling anything this round if I do both contracts. I have to spend... 27, I think, for the wool, which puts me down to 30, puts me down to uh, 17, I think. And then I have to play a cow, but then I don't have enough for the last woodcutter or upgrade. So yeah, I think I'm just doing this contract only, which means I probably just do it first so that I'm available to take one of these contracts, which I guess is probably the bread whiskey one. Since that one's really good. And black is threatening to complete theirs. So yeah, I'll just do this. I can expand. I mean, I guess technically... If I connect through this area, then I could be sort of competitive for the settlements. So I might as well like threaten that, like threaten to expand here and then connect up here. And this technically lets me buy bread or cheese. Uh, I think I'm. I guess I might as well buy something. I could buy both. I think buying for cheap now is probably worth it. Oh, I don't get bread, just cheese. That's fine. Now I take this contract and then I expand into this area. I could technically take and then do this contract this round. I think it's not worth it. I might as well just do both together next round, probably. So like if I do this one this round, then sure I can pay five for it, but 
next round if I'm completing this, I have to pay 10 to replace it anyway, and then I can just, if I complete this one next round, I'll replace it for free as well. Yeah, let's get this. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. So I think once black connects up their stuff, they'll be at seven. If I connect up my stuff, we'll be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think I am competitive with black. Almost certainly not with red. I think that's enough reason for me to like expand here though. Or actually, I guess here is probably better anyway. And still connects up. I guess I wait on that. Just put this here. Yeah, I think I wait on that because if I'm spending 7 and then 10 to upgrade, then I only have 8 left. Uh, I guess I can sell my wool to get up to 11, and then that'll be enough to... Play a sheep like here. Yeah, let's do that. It's also nice, um, like, these animals are on pretty cheap tiles, so hypothetically later on I can slaughter them and then replace them for fairly cheap. Also be passing first this round, which is nice. I think I have to buy a lot of merchants next round, which is sort of okay, because they'll each score uh, one point. Uh, I guess I also get to sell my wool for one more, which is just something.
So yeah, I just upgrade this and I can pass. I guess I'm probably not competitive with black even in terms of uh, settlements. So yeah, pass now. Black has a ton of contracts already. Pretty crazy. I think I need to buy, let's see, it's like if I want to sell cheese and buy, I have to buy the, uh, the whiskey and I have to buy four wool, then I have to get at least four merchants. And if I want to sell my second bread, I have to get all five. So I might just be straight up buying all five merchants, which is again, okay, because of the upgrade scoring, but it is... Quite a lot of merchants to have to buy. Oh, I even have two cheese. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm just like clearing out the merchants. Uh, do I want to? Hmm. Either of them want to buy. Um. The wine, it does not, or the whiskey, it does not look like it. So I can probably wait on that. But Red probably wants to sell some cheese, so I should probably like start with selling two cheese. Seems reasonable. And then I think my next five actions are just buying the merchants. Ideally, I would go for like a discount on... Um, the whiskey and or sh uh, wool, but there's no sheep nearby. This is the only other sheep on the map. As far as whiskey, I don't think there's a distillery near me either, so I think I'm just buying them straight up. Oh, red bot. Wool, so now it's more expensive, which is really bad for me, actually. <laughs> it means I'm paying eight more than I uh, was hoping to pay. I guess it was at four, though, so it's only like four more. So if I sell bread here, I actually don't have enough merchants to buy everything I need to buy. So I think I'm not selling bread, which means I guess I might as well just buy whiskey now. Or it gets more expensive. I'm hoping black doesn't like decide to also buy wool. I think I'm passing glass this round because I have like a million things to do.
in the final round, I think I'm going to be building my last two bread things to get the uh, building bonus for more, uh, to find another, like, find more exports, basically. And hopefully I can do, like, a ton of exports next round. Uh, all right, buy merchants. I think it was, like, probably a mistake to take the six wool one. Because actually completing this for me is really tough, given that I didn't have that many sheep. And I ended up using the one to three for something else. I would like this contract quite a bit. Uh, cotton is the best of the like endgame scoring resources here. Probably. Yeah, probably. And also this one is like an outlet for my bread that I'm going to have. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be competitive on settlements. Okay, black has no more merchants. They're probably not buying wool this round, which means I probably get away with spending five for each. My, as far I don't know which second contract I want. I think it's one of these two, but I can't tell which one is better for me. Like, this is the one I for sure want. I don't know. I mean, hopefully I get it. We'll see. God, I have so much money. Like, I'm about to spend 20 on wool, but then, like, I get 15 back from this contract completion. Alright. Buy for wool. I think my main, like, limiting factor next round is going to be how many merchants I have. So, that, I mean, that makes me want to prioritize stuff that just, like, kills off, like, slaughters meat, because meat is not limited by uh, merchant count. Like, you can just play stuff on the board without expending merchants. So, I think I would like to get this one and this one. All right, let's complete these. Let's 
So yeah, I can just get these now. And then I guess I would like to uh, get a field and two distilleries down so I don't have to spend merchants on buying wine next round. I think, do I have enough for that? I spend this field, I have 26 left. And then each distillery would have to go on a three cost land, which I don't have access to. So... I guess if I play, like, one bread... Well, okay, I guess I'm playing my fourth bread next round anyway. So I can do field... I think I have just enough for, like, field distillery bread. Because distillery down on a four, four coster is 14. I go down to 12, and then bread on a four cost, coster is good enough, and I do have access to four costers. So let's do that. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess here, doesn't really matter. Hmm, I guess maybe like here is better. Sure. Okay, now I pass. And I produce quite a bit here. I have all seven merchants. And I'll be able to build a bread maker thing to get access to more exports once these run out. Among these, I think this one is decent, although the upgrades aren't. I mean, it's just going to be shipping upgrades. Alternatively, like, this one's pretty good for me. I think these two are good for me. This one's okay. Alright, that was not one I was interested in. That was also not what I was interested in. Nice. Okay. So I need to build a sheep and buy a whiskey to be able to complete these. Uh, I guess I should buy whiskey first. The question is whether I want to buy more whiskey. And since all these require at least one whiskey, I think it's probably safe to buy at least one more. Maybe two more. Yeah, I think I should probably just buy a three now. Under the assumption that I get these two contracts and then the two whiskey gets spent. Let's do it. Also, I mean, incidentally, this makes uh, whiskey more expensive for both of them. And it's fairly likely they'll need it. Alright, so now I build a sheep somewhere. It's kind of, like, everywhere I have is so expensive, it's kind of sad. 
This is the problem with not expanding effectively. Put it here, I guess. I mean, like, technically I can do one contract and then play sheep here and then do the other contract. The only downside with doing that is it's a turn slower. I think I'll I think I'll take the turn slower line. So yeah, let's do Well yeah, and actually I just get free expands. Interesting. So yeah, let's do it like this. Expand here, I think, so I have access to this area. Sure. Let's do that, I think. Oh, so this actually wasn't a turn slower because the free space means that the build is accomplished, like, in the same turn anyway. Uh, that is when I wanted, but I guess, is it when I wanted? I mean, these two are fine for me. I'm in a good spot here because I complete this and I just get these two. Which I can, I can complete both of them without having to do anything else. No additional resources expended. Um, I think I build a cow to slaughter. Like, I can build the bread to see exports, but I'm pretty happy with these two, so let's just take those. After these two contracts, I'll have one cheese and one wool left in my pool. So probably these are the last contracts I'm doing. Oh, uh, random disconnect. That just, like, happens sometimes. Alright, let's take these two. Unfortunately, I think this means I'm losing on exports to black and maybe tying with red. I think I'm definitely not winning this game. This contract is kind of expensive, though, for them. I'm competitive with red in terms of... Uh, contracts i'm not competitive super competitive with black my only saving grace with respect to black is that i have like more 
I have a higher starting point total because they took a 16 point hit at the start. But I doubt it's going to be enough. Alright, those contracts. Yeah, like there's no way I do another contract. I think I'd probably just pass here. Like, I can sell stuff to build stuff, but I don't think it accomplishes anything, really. I guess stuff on the board is worth points with this scoring specifically, so it probably is worth it. Like, sell cheese build... Uh cow or something. I guess sheep. The other thing that sucks here is cotton ended up being the most frequent, which is what I have the most of. And I don't have much cane, which is the most valuable. Uh, I mean... Yeah, hopefully one of them does this one, and then tobacco will be more expensive than cotton. Or there will be, uh, there will be a higher frequency of tobacco than cotton. See, I think I am actually selling here. It's technically better. Although I guess it's not because I'm losing two points and I'm gaining two points if so I play sheep. So yeah, this actually, I should just pass probably. <laughs> Uh, well, if I sell wool, I can play a field, which I think ends up being better. So yeah, play a field there. And now I can pass after this. I think I'm in last place here. I'm pretty sure I'm in last place. I 
I mean, technically, if they do both those contracts, then... Kane goes up to 21? Oh, that's actually pretty good for me. I can't remember how ties break. I'm pretty sure that means Cotton will end up being more points. So that would actually be huge for me if they do both their contracts. And then Kane will be the lowest point value, and that's the one I have the least of. And also, yeah, and then Tobacco will be five points. Hmm. So yeah, like my I think my biggest problem here is the fact that I'm like heaviest in cotton and cotton's just like low value. If they do do both their contracts, it might, and like Cotton ends up being worth four points, it might still not be enough for me to win, though. Or for me to not get last. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're doing this contract because they have exactly enough for it. Because, I mean, it's still technically good for them to do it. It's more points for them, but it also happens to be good for me. And making, I mean, making Kane less valuable is fine when Black has 10 of it. They're in a pretty, like, intense competition for, uh... settlements which is kind of worrying because it it might mean that red is prioritizing the settlement bonus over their contract because like if they do their contract then it means losing their settlements i think like it looks like black is beating them on it anyway so they should just accept second like if they lose their cows they still get second place in settlements which is what they're getting anyway i think that's my hope at least Yeah, okay, they did, and yeah, Cotton is uh, prioritized as the more valuable one. So, that's a huge boost for me. That's like, so I lost, uh, I effectively lost... Six points there and gained, like... Uh, 14, I think, so it's like eight more points for me, and it's less points, relatively speaking, for Black. It's like very close. I think this is the closest I've ever seen the uh, three export resources. I'm sort of surprised Black ended up being the one to uh, get the settlement, first place in settlement. I think I think red is beating black here. I could be wrong, but like 
Currently, they have more of the most valuable, like basically the distribution is better in terms of their uh, export resources. Okay, I guess I was totally wrong. Black beat red by a huge margin, and then I saw you bit barely beat red. <laughs> uh, yeah, the cotton not being the least valuable resource definitely helped. But black, I mean, black got an absurd amount of points given that they had a minus sixteen start. So maybe Quan Robertson is just like insane. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed.